What's up you guys, Saj Boss here, and today I'll be taking a look at, uh, I'm kidding, what's up you guys, Saj Boss here, and today I'll be um, sharing with you guys my review of TLC uh, 2020, um, I'll tell you what happened, what went down on the pay-per-view last night, was the card good, was it solid, or was it terrible? Well, you want to find all the information out right now after clicking on this video, so let's begin. Let's the kickoff. Before though. I begin, before I begin, I have to get back to Saj from the past to show you about the kickoff show match. Well, Saj from the past is right here for TLC's kickoff show match. So guys, for the kick for the kickoff show match is Team Dan Bryan taking on Team Sami Zayn. Uh, so Team Dan Bryan consisted of Big E, Otis, and Chad Gable. Taking on uh, Sinsuke, Cesaro, and Corbin. I think it's be an even match. I think it'd be a really good one to wake us up, get us hyped for the um, Epic TLC pay per view. I'm excited to see what both men are going to do. Same with both teams. Um, I don't think Sami Zayn can stand a chance against Daniel Bryan because Daniel Daniel Sam looked pretty strong. Um, besides having Gable, I'm kind of curious how he's going to play in the match. Um, I think Big E's going to shine after what he did to uh, Sami um, last week, so that's so why I think Big E's on, on a move, so that's why I'm going with Team Dale Bryan, because Corbin needs to lose, and also I don't get why Cesaro's in this match either, so I honestly think it'd be the underdogs, uh, Dale Bryan and the underdogs, um, which are Chad Cable and Otis and Big E uh, versus Sami Zayn. I really think this match is going to be pretty strong, and I'm excited. Also, um, before I begin, I'm just excited to see what Big E's going to offer to us in this match, and I'm excited for Otis, I'm excited for Chad Gable. I actually got to meet Chad at WrestleMania Access uh, back in 2019. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. Other than that, guys, um, if I get too much wrong, I'll have to watch the Star Wars Holiday Special. So, stay tuned, and Saj from the future... Let's take you back. Uh, predicting this match really well. Um, the winners of this match was uh, Team Daniel Bryan. Uh, Team Bryan, Daniel Bryan, I have to put Team Bryan on there, but uh, Daniel Bryan, Big E, Chad Gable, um, and Otis all defeated uh, King Corbin and uh, who's all wrestling on the other side? I don't care, Sami Zayn's team. But it was, a, it was an epic way to start things off. I was really excited for this match. Um, I don't know why I was excited for this match. It was pretty. That's pretty well done. It's pretty solid. Um, it, it was okay. Not my favorite match of the night, but it it was okay. I didn't like it too much though. So guys, uh, this match was uh, it was an okay solid match. It was a good way to open up us to the card, obviously. But I feel like it was kind of. I, I felt like I was kind of distracted because I was eating a, a, a taco last night. We had tacos last night for dinner, so as a tradition, you should be dinner during the kickoff show. As we all know, as a WWE fan on my channel, so you all know that. So I was eating dinner during this match. It was okay, though. It was fun. Um, it was really cool. So next up, we're talking about the Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles match. McIntyre versus AJ Styles, um, which was a really good way to kick off the show. It was a big back and forth, both men. Uh, Styles got some Styles clashes. Drew McIntyre hit, hit Styles with like a chair or something like that in the corner of the post. It was all over the place a little bit. It starts off, it's, the match really started off really slow. Um, it was it was kind of built up both men, like both giving like knocking down. Um, I felt like it's and I felt rushed. I felt like both men know what they're doing. Um, they both hit really hard and heavily um, to, to 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 in this match. It, it, was, it was it was overall that match was really cool. But all of a sudden, guys, the Miz showed up out of nowhere. A uh, cash in his money in the bank briefcase, and he literally started climbing the ladder when both men are knocked out uh, on the corner of the post. The Miz like literally hit him with a like, skull crusher finale, make sure he's down. Um, so the Miz literally climbs up the ladder, cashes in his briefcase. I thought we were getting a new champion tonight. No, we did not. We were so close to getting two new champions uh, last night, but we did not. So literally, the Miz got climbed up on the money in the briefcase. All of a sudden, no. Uh, almost caught him. Almost caught him. Almost literally destroyed the Miz. All of a sudden, Drew McIntyre climbs up on the ladder, uh, retains his precious baby, his World Heavyweight title. Claymore King lives. Another, day. another thing I want to point out during this match was Drew McIntyre's leg was injured by AJ with some of the moves he did. Like, for example, one of my favorite moments of the match was when AJ put his leg through the chairs and, like, uh, 
put push it back. It was crazy. And also got some a forum in there caught by a claymore. It was it was epic. Um, it's not my. It's probably one of the better AJ Styles matches of the year. Um, it was it was a good match. I I enjoyed it. Literally, I enjoyed. Now, it. guys, we're, we're gonna talk to you guys about the Banks Carmella match for the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Holy Toledo! This match was back and forth. This was an incredible match for the women's side. I enjoyed this for the women. Um, I think Sasha Banks put on a show since Carmella. Carmella was so close. You know, it was like a fingertip a length away from becoming the uh, new SmackDown Women's Champion. It was epic. Uh, Sasha looked fire. Um, her gear was pretty cool too. She was like a nude color attire. Like, um, that's what she's wearing on her fishnet tights right there. But uh, it was crazy. I love what Sasha could do. Carmella, Carmella kept adjusting her knee pads or socks something she was wearing on the ring a lot. Uh, Carmella looked fire. Her game was incredible, guys. Like, with that athleticism of Carmella, like, seeing her back in, like, the title picture, it, like, it was cool. It's like old-school Carmella. Like, it, it felt like she belonged, and you can tell she trained hard for this match, and she did it. She put on a show, and I enjoy what she did. Like, Carmella was, like, outstanding. It's probably one of the superstars that really shined last night. Um, like, Sasha Banks was crazy. Um... I just loved what Sasha Banks could do, guys. Um, honestly, guys, what Sasha Banks? Sasha Banks looked pretty strong in there too. It's like she's back and forth. Uh, Sasha obviously retained her title, but it was an epic clash uh, uh, for those two. For the one this was all over the place. Seriously, I can't believe Sasha Banks retained the title. It was crazy. It was awesome, guys. I I enjoyed it. Um, I thought Sasha did well. She did a beautiful job and outstanding job of like capturing the title back. But it was a really strong match. Maybe sometime soon we see Carmella in the title picture. So yeah, hopefully Next soon. Next up, talk about the New Day versus the Hurt Business for the Raw Tag Team Titles. This match was pretty solid. Uh, it was both really standard. Uh, this might be one of the better tag matches from the men. Um, I, I was kind of getting bored of it. It was a little, little bit of like a sleeper match, you know. Um, I feel like if you want to get a snack in the match, please do so. But it was one of those matches that I thought was really like excellent for what, um, what what it was. I thought it was solid. Both men looked pretty strong. Uh, Sister Alexander literally looked like a powerhouse. It looked like he was unstoppable in that match. Uh, Kofi Kingston did some good moves. Got SOS by Kofi in there. Um, it, I, thought it was, I thought it was a good match. So I guess WWE has plans for the Hurt Business. Uh, to be the champions right now, which I'm really excited for that story arc of those champions. So the New Day lost. That's one. That's one um, match I got wrong for tonight. Also, do you like my ex? I thought it was cute for Xmas because Christmas is like three days from now. So, yeah, I thought this was an epic match though. The New Day looked pretty strong, looked powerful. Um, yeah, I like it. It was. I feel like a typical Raw match, but it was good for pay per view card. It was upbeat and it was happy and it was positive. So yeah, I love the New Day. Also, new. Day rocks. New day rocks. Yeah. Pretty cool. On to the next guys. Match. I'm literally holding off my hands on uh who's torn this match, guys. I can't wait to show you. I can't show you at all. I'll show you in three seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! The queen herself showed up in this match. Charlotte Flair and Oscar. Um, literally teamed up together, taking on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. I was screaming last night in excitement. It was like pure joy. I was so excited to see Charlotte Flair. My dad was really mad at me, so I'm so sorry for that, for being loud last night with Charlotte Flair. It was, a, it was a surprise. She had no idea she was going to show up. I literally screamed like a little girl last night. I'm not making that up. I literally screamed like a little girl. And my dad was actually, actually really mad at me for screaming like a little girl watching wrestling. Like, I literally am so sorry for that. I'm so sorry for being loud, making this video, and also screaming for Charlotte Flair. He, does, he didn't understand how big of a wrestling fan I am. He took me to WrestleMania. He knows how big I'm a fan of Charlotte. I haven't seen Charlotte in years. Like, like, like a couple months I haven't seen Charlotte. But it was epic to see Charlotte. I can't tell you how happy I was to see the Queen um, enter the ring. Oh boy, it was it was awesome. I was literally wooing, and Oscar looked pretty cool too. So the Empress and the match. Queen teamed up. Well, this match was pretty fast paced. Uh, Oscar got some good moves in there. Uh, Nia Jax versus Charlotte was incredible to see in the ring. Athleticism. We got Shayna Baszler, her WrestleMania opponent, um, in the ring, which is really cool. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed on the outcome, but I'm also kind of happy she got the titles. So, Oscar and Charlotte won against Nia Jax, and 
Uh, for the women's titles, tag team titles, I think uh, this match was incredible for what it was. Um, the strength of both women are really cool. But the problem is, um, WWE's like, oh, I, I think MDT did this <laughs> an analogy really funny. They're like, oh, do do do, oh, my show's there, it's not another title on her. That's what Tiffany Avatar said. I'm like, yeah, I agree on that. Like, she's the queen, uh, she always gets the titles. I'm like, I do not want her to get the tag title, though. I want her to get the actual woman's title, so hopefully in Raw tonight. For a little Christmas gift, we will get, um, we will get the, uh, woman's tag title on it. Uh, Charlotte will cost a match for Asuka, but no, it didn't happen. So I guess Asuka and Charlotte are a team for a little bit, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the Queen. That's a good way to warm up the Queen. That's the energy and her, like, her athleticism in the ring just to get a warm-up match until her big title picture coming up soon. So, Ric Flair was there last night, which is, I'm surprised he Ric Flair. I'm, I had no idea he would show up to Thunderdome, but he did. It was exciting to see Sasha, though. I mean, Charlotte, not Sasha. So. I was excited to see Charlotte. Uh, and it's, one of, it's probably one of the best moments on the card. I was smiling the whole time watching so uh, Charlotte Flair. I just I haven't seen her in a while. I love the Queen. Like, I'm not the only one who likes her, isn't it? Like, I hate her sometimes, and I love her. I love what Charlotte has done. Like, I miss her. This is literally feels like the actual, like, tag division, the uh, actual women's division is coming uh, coming back together. She's got Bailey, got Sasha. And we have Asuka, we have Charlotte, so we got some top women there too, we got Natalia, you name it. So I'm just excited for that. So yeah, I'm doing yeah. what the I'm doing the main event over the night was because probably it was a messier cleanup was the Randy versus the Fiend. I don't get why some of the cinematic style matches are always main event the card, which is stupid. I thought the Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns match Wolves main event the card. That was this is that this is after the Roman Reigns match. So this is uh, Randy Orton versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and a Firefly Inferno match. Uh, so this match was incredible. I love what Randy could do. It's like mind games with Bray. Uh, they both, both can tell they have a long history together. Uh, we point that out, compare and contrast with things that have common there. So they both are good in the ring. So they both kind of started out in the ring and they kind of like walked around um, outside the ring. Uh, at one point, uh, Bray Wyatt literally... I was wondering where the fire was. I thought he was going to bring it on. It was almost like a Kane moment or Undertaker moment. And the fire started spewing out. And all of a sudden, you saw uh, Bray Wyatt literally light the rocking chair on fire. Put the gasoline on it. Lit the match. Boom. The rock rocking chair was on fire on the mat. It was incredible. Everywhere it was, like, the ring was on fire. Um... No, the ring's not on fire, I thought it was, but, like, the whole barricade system was on fire, which is kind of crazy. Remind me of Child's Play, where Chucky goes caught on fire, and, Ch and uh, Child's Play won, uh, where, uh, like, they sent him through the fireplace, and he literally was walking on fire. That's what the Fiend looked like when he got his coat on fire last night. And then he stopped, chopped, and roll back into the ring, so the match was still on. So, that's one moment I thought they screwed up there. Um, it was, overall, it was a really solid match, overall. And then the final moments of the match was when Randy Orton... Uh, literally, um, put the fiend on fire. Huh? I'll tell you that. But like, before I talk about how that match ended, I want to discuss like the gear. Though, well, so both men just wore the entrance coats, and Randy wore pants and a jacket. I don't get why um, they did that. Maybe for safety reasons. I'm not sure why. But it was it was kind of epic though. So literally, the fiend was knocked out in the ring, uh, hit him with RKO or something like that. And then literally, he got he put him pour him all gasoline, probably a dummy in the ring. And then all of a sudden, the fiends on fire, burning to like a crisp in the ring. I'm like, what the heck is going on? It was a really solid match, but it felt kind of weak. Why I say it felt kind of weak was um, the timing of this match, and I didn't like how uh, Randy um, won. I want something a little bit more to this match. Like, I want more. I want something more. I thought, like, see Alexa Bliss come out or something like that. No. It just was Randy and the Fiend, which I'm happy with. It was exciting. It was an epic. It was, it was pretty bad, but to see what Randy could do. I just want a little bit more in the story storyline for this. Um, for more of a build-up to the story. So, I want to see what happens to the Fiend tonight and Raw. So, yeah. I get to be in, Th in the Thunderdome, so maybe see what happens to Randy and the Fiend tonight. So, yeah. Can't wait. Match of the night. The best match on the card. The best match to main event the card, I wish it was main event, 
This was one of the best matches I have ever seen in 2020. This was one of the best Kevin Owens match I've seen. The best, the, probably one of the best uh, Roman Reigns matches I've seen in a while. This was one of the best Kevin Owens matches that they have to date. So this is Kevin Owens singing on the Big Dog in the Universal Championship match. It was an incredible match. Kevin Owens was on fire. It was crazy. Kevin Owens is a caged animal. Roman Reigns like a giant. It was like almost like Jack versus the giant. Uh, Jack of the Giant, it was almost like that, or David vs. Goliath. It was almost like that type of match. It was incredible. Athleticism of Kevin Owens jumping all over the place, hitting him with like chairs and stuff. Like one time, he hit Roman Reigns to the table. Um, Pop up powerbomb by Kevin Owens. It was incredible. You should watch this on the WWE Network. Watch the highlights of this match. I highly recommend it. It was awesome. Joe used to act like a henchman to injure Kevin Owens. Uh, Roman Reigns got injured. I wish a kendo stick was involved in this match. No kendo sticks. Come on, people. We want kendo sticks. It was incredible to see um, all, these, all, all this athleticism of Roman. All this athleticism of uh, Kevin Owens. Um, it was crazy. It was crazy. I love this match to pieces. It was one of the best matches. I want more from Kevin Owens. I want more to see what he's got in store for us. I want him to be champion. All, all we know that Roman Reigns retains his title somehow. Like Kevin Owens was this, this, this close to climb the ladder. He was that close. He did not even climb the ladder. He was so close. He kept on climbing, climbing, kept on failing because Roman Reigns kept on knocking him off the ladder. And Jay Uso was kept on like, uh, teasing him, taunting him um, to get off the ladder. Uh, so, Kevin, so Kevin literally had an opportunity where to put him through there, he's trying to climb it. He barely grabbed the title, and then Roman Reigns just knocked him out on the ladder, and then Roman climbs up, claims what it is, is the universal title, head of the table. It was epic, I felt so bad for Kevin Owens, I was literally chanting for Kevin Owens last night. I was literally, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. That's why I was literally chanting, I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna do it, I'm, I'm gonna scream like a little infant again, like Charlotte Fl when Charlotte Flair came out. It was inc incredible, guys. Holy Toledo in the month of June, that was sweet. What an ending, what a way to um, kick things off for the main event. I thought it was an al al epic outcome, uh, both men are incredible. This was what WWE stands for, and this is why WWE is always... I also always tell you, this is why Roman, Roman is top of his peak in his career. Also, next pay-per-view is the Royal Rumble. So I'm thinking, who's going to win the Rumble? I'm still thinking about that over and over. Uh, but Roman, Roman Reigns is, at, at, honestly, he's at his peak of his career. Like, Roman has never been this strong in his career. He knows what he's doing as a heel. His heel run is incredible. I still got to get the merch. I'm so sorry. I have one shirt, which is the big dog, but I need to get merch. But I thought Roman was outstanding in this match. It was incredible. Oh, boy. Uh, it, it, was, it was almost emotional. It's like watching Star Wars again. Yeah, that and see Charlotte Flair was like watching Star Wars. Yeah, it was, it was an exciting week. Yeah. Speaking of Star Wars, yeah, I got two matches wrong, so I have to watch the holiday special. So I'll be starting watching it today. I'll maybe finishing it and reviewing it today. So other than that, I'm hoping you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's kind of lengthy, but I'm hoping you guys enjoy TLC. And stay tuned for the Royal Rumble, and I'll see you guys uh, sometime soon. So see you guys tomorrow for the advent calendar if I don't see you for another video. But just have a positive and stay healthy over the holidays, and peace out. Peace.